Hey guys, welcome back to Carnal Dish. Today I'm going to show you how to make a juicy and crispy all over high roasted chicken that will be paired with a super flavorful, creamy mushroom marsala sauce that will absolutely take it to the next level. This recipe is super easy and simple and I know you're going to love it, so let's get started. The first thing I'm doing is just prepping my mushrooms, so I'm just cleaning them with a damp paper towel because they're very dirty. See, look. They look like Devo's draws from Friday. We don't want to eat that, so make sure you give them a nice wipe down. I'm using portobellos and shiitake mushrooms. You can use whatever mushrooms you like. And just make sure that they're all sliced up so that they're about the same size. And here I'm just mincing about four cloves of garlic. Next, you want to make sure that you pat the chicken dry with paper towels so that the skin is not wet. Wet skin won't give us a nice crisp texture. Now, right here, I'm just kind of pulling out the inside pieces of fat that tend to be left on the bird. If you see this, just pull it out. We don't want a super greasy chicken, so those little knobs of fat are unnecessary. We want to make sure that this chicken is thoroughly seasoned from the inside out. So go ahead and sprinkle a generous amount of kosher salt on the cavity in the cavity of the bird, along with some freshly ground black pepper and a little bit of Herbe de Provence, which is one of the key flavors here. And now we're going to make sure that the chicken gets nicely golden brown and we don't want an ashy bird. So just rub some olive oil all over the skin. You don't need a lot, just about maybe a tablespoon or so. And now it's time to season the outside of the bird. Make sure that you get a nice even coating of the kosher salt and the black pepper and the Herbe de Provence on both sides of the chicken. We wanna make sure that the skin all over is nicely seasoned because we're not brining this bird, we're doing a high roast. So it's totally fine, it can take it. Make sure you tie up the legs, get your 50 shades of gray on and tie up the legs. Tuck the tips of the wings behind the bird so that they don't burn in the oven. Meanwhile, I've been preheating a cast iron skillet in a 435 degree oven for 20 minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and place the chicken on that hot pan and listen to this. Oh yeah, that sear is gonna let you know that the bird will be nice and crispy on the bottom. Now we're gonna let this chicken rest for about 20 minutes while we make our delicious mushroom marsala sauce. So in a skillet over medium heat, melt about two to three tablespoons of butter and a little bit of olive oil. I'm using a compound butter that I had left over. You can totally use regular butter. Once the butter starts to foam, we're gonna add about a cup of diced yellow onion. We're gonna just stir that onion around till it gets nice and softened and all pieces are coated in the oil. You're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of salt and pepper over top to kind of draw out the moisture and help promote the browning. This is gonna take about five minutes. And once you start to develop some color on the onion and they start to get nice and soft and translucent, we're gonna add our mushrooms. So go ahead and arrange your mushrooms. Make sure that you toss them with the onion so that they are nicely coated with the oil. You may have to add about a teaspoon or so more of oil like I just did here. You don't want it to be super oily and greasy, but you just wanna make sure that there's a nice coating. And we're just gonna cook these mushrooms until they go through stages of breaking down. And I'm sprinkling a little bit of crushed red pepper here just to make it a little spicy. And continue to stir. What's gonna happen is the moisture is going to start to evaporate from the mushrooms and then they're going to start to caramelize and stick to the bottom of the pan like they are right now. And this is good because we're developing flavor. And that brown stuff you see at the bottom is fine. And see, look at this mushroom here. It's starting to get nicely caramelized and that's exactly what we're going for. That whole process should take between maybe eight to 12 minutes. Now I'm gonna add the garlic, and we're only gonna cook the garlic for about 30 seconds just to take that raw edge off. So just go ahead and stir that around so that all the mushrooms and onions are infused with that delicious garlic flavor. 
Now I'm adding about a tablespoon or so of just regular all-purpose flour and make sure that the flour pretty much disappears. Just stir it until you can't see it anymore so that it's coated with the fat that's left over in the pan. And you're gonna add one cup of chicken stock. And while you're doing this, make sure you scrape up the fond, the flavor at the bottom of the pan. So just make sure you get all of that up because that's gonna make our sauce extremely delicious. And now we're gonna add some marsala. I'm adding about a cup or so of marsala wine, the good stuff. Just stir that around. And you're gonna wait till this comes up to a simmer. And I'm gonna add a little bit of heavy cream. I'm adding about maybe three tablespoons here. And I'm gonna add a little bit more as this process goes on. So just add a little bit at a time. Let this come to a full simmer, season to taste. I'm adding some salt and pepper, some herb de Provence here. This process should take about maybe two to three minutes, maybe five minutes or so. We're just trying to give the sauce some body. It's not gonna be a watery sauce, but it's not gonna be a thick, gloopy sauce either. It should just have some nice body to it. So adjust as you need to. Add a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Once it's ready, you're gonna turn the heat off and you're gonna add about two more tablespoons of butter. Again, I'm using the compound butter that I used before just because I had it on hand. Go ahead and give it a final taste and like I said before, adjust as you need to. And now we're gonna add some much needed brightness. So go ahead and zest a full lemon and sprinkle that all over the sauce. And you can see it's the perfect consistency because the spoon is leaving quick little trails. Our sauce is ready and it's perfect. Now it's time to cut into this juicy chicken. Check out that bottom. See, this is the reason why we put it in a super searing hot cast iron skillet. That bottom is nice and crispy. So I'm just cutting off my favorite part, the dark meat. I love dark meat. <laughs> so just go ahead and cut the piece that you want. It's gonna be nice and juicy and flavorful. I'm serving mine with some lightly wilted spinach with lemon and garlic and some creamy roasted garlic mashed potatoes. And I'm just gonna set my thigh quarter piece right on top of that and just spoon that super sexy mushroom marsala sauce all over your piece of chicken. It is going to knock your freaking socks off. This chicken and marsala sauce is so delicious, y'all. I cannot wait for you to make it. Unfortunately, you won't get to see me eat it, because I've been having some technical difficulties lately. Hopefully we can fix that next time, but trust me, this recipe, you're gonna love it and it's gonna be one of your favorites. I cannot wait for you to try it. Let me know how it works out for you and I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. She make you wanna lick the play.